Discovery Island at Walt Disney World is a captivating chapter in the history of the esteemed Disney theme park ecosystem. This once thriving attraction, nestled within Bay Lake, invites nostalgia and curiosity about its journey from vibrant attraction to abandoned island. The history of Discovery Island encompasses its opening in 1974, its operational years filled with exotic wildlife and family-friendly activities, and its eventual closure in 1999, which marked the end of an era. This narrative will explore the varied elements that contributed to Discovery Island's history, its conception, evolution, and the circumstances that led to its demise, providing a comprehensive look at this unique piece of Disney lore. The story of Discovery Island began in the early 1960s when the Walt Disney Company was in the nascent stages of developing Walt Disney World in Florida. During this time, Disney acquired numerous parcels of land, including the island originally known as Treasure Island, which was part of the Florida project. The island had previously been a residence and hunting retreat before its purchase by Disney, allowing the company to see its potential for a themed animal attraction. The vision was realized on April 8, 1974, when Treasure Island opened its gates to guests. The initial theme of the park was inspired by the 1950 Disney film Treasure Island, which featured pirate adventures and exotic landscapes. The park was designed as a wildlife preserve and zoological park where guests could observe various animals in a lush, natural environment. In 1977, the name was changed to Discovery Island, reflecting a broader mission of wildlife education and conservation. Over its operational years, the island would be home to more than 150 species of animals, including myriad birds, reptiles, and mammals. Discovery Island was not just any park. It offered an immersive experience enriched by its tropical surroundings. Guests could explore different areas featuring rare animals such as macaws, lemurs, and tortoises. The island was accessible only by boat, adding an adventure element before visitors even stepped foot onto the land. The focus on animal observation and the park's setting offered a serene contrast to the ride-heavy attractions of the neighboring Magic Kingdom. The layout of Discovery Island emphasized animal interaction and observation, showcasing a diverse selection of species. The park featured various exhibits, each thoughtfully designed to mimic the natural habitats of the animals it housed. Popular attractions included, this pathway led visitors through an expansive aviary where they could see an array of exotic birds, including flamingos and cockatoos. This exhibit allowed guests to watch capuchin monkeys in their natural behaviors, showcasing their agility and social interactions. Home to Galapagos tortoises, this area gave visitors the chance to learn about these magnificent creatures. This exhibit featured American alligators, providing educational insights into their habitats and behaviors. Discovery Island prioritized education, creating a platform for visitors to learn about wildlife conservation and appreciation. Informational placards dotted the pathways, and cast members frequently engaged with guests to share knowledge about the park's inhabitants. Throughout its 25 years of operation, Discovery Island became a beloved destination for families, offering a place to escape the fast-paced thrill rides that characterized much of Walt Disney World. It served as a relaxing respite where guests could commune with nature, making memories while learning about wildlife. The park was particularly popular among bird lovers and environmentalists, and it played a part in animal conservation efforts. However, the connection with wildlife came with its challenges. In the late 1980s, Discovery Island faced scrutiny over animal care practices. People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, PETA, accused Disney of mistreating the animals within the park, particularly vultures. These allegations led to investigations and 16 counts of animal cruelty against Disney. The controversy cast a shadow over Discovery Island and affected guest perceptions, leading to declining attendance. By the late 1990s, Several contributing factors culminated in the decision to close Discovery Island on April 8, 1999, exactly 25 years after its opening. The most significant aspects included, one, although the park had once drawn large crowds, it struggled to compete with newer attractions. The rise of Disney's Animal Kingdom, which opened concurrently with the closure of Discovery Island, further siphoned visitors away from the island. 
Animal Kingdom offered a more extensive, immersive experience with major attractions themed around global wildlife conservation. 2. Controversy and Reputation The animal cruelty allegations had lingering effects on Discovery Island's reputation. Even though many of the concerns were addressed, public perception had been tainted by the incidents, leading families to reconsider their visits to the island. 3. Logistical Challenges Maintaining a wildlife preserve involves ongoing costs for staff, animal care, and habitat upkeep. The decline in guest numbers made these financial commitments increasingly difficult to justify. Though no official reason for Discovery Island's closure was ever provided by Disney, the combination of these factors pointed toward an inevitable decision to sunset the park. Disney made the transition to Animal Kingdom a priority, and as such, many of Discovery Island's animals were relocated to the new park or other zoos. Following its closure, Discovery Island was left to languish, a remnant of its once vibrant past. While the island was officially off-limits to the public, rumors and intrigue began to surround the abandoned attraction. Many urban explorers sought to document the deteriorating conditions of the park, taking photographs and videos that captured the haunting beauty of nature, reclaiming the site. In one notable incident in 2020, a man was arrested after illegally camping on the island, referring to it as a tropical paradise. His story and the images released from his adventure renewed interest in Discovery Island, reinvigorating discussions about what could be done with the abandoned property. In the years after its closure, several plans had been proposed to reimagine Discovery Island, including transforming it into a live-action role-playing game based on the video game Myst. However, no concrete developments have occurred, and as of 2023, the island remains largely untouched, a ghost of the past with remnants of its former attractions still visible from various vantage points around Bay Lake. Despite its abandonment, Discovery Island has left an indelible mark on the culture and history of Disney World. Its zoological theme is echoed in the design and attractions of Animal Kingdom. The central land in that park carries the name Discovery Island, serving as a tribute to the original attraction. This connection honors the legacy of wildlife conservation and education that Discovery Island aimed to promote back when it was operational. Moreover, Disney's Animal Kingdom continues to emphasize the importance of wildlife conservation and ecotourism, a mission that Discovery Island contributed to during its years of operation. The heart of Discovery Island's spirit persists in the new park, reminding visitors of the importance of protecting animal habitats and fostering a love for nature through engaging experiences. Discovery Island stands as a poignant reminder of Disney's adventurous spirit and commitment to storytelling through varied experiences. From its vibrant beginnings as a wildlife preserve and educational hub, to its present state as an abandoned isle, the history of Discovery Island highlights the complexities of theme park operations and the evolution of guest expectations. While years of neglect have left their mark, the legacy of Discovery Island continues to inspire curiosity about its past, serving as a testimony to Disney's aim to create immersive experiences that educate and entertain. In narrating the tale of Discovery Island, it is essential to recognize not just the animal exhibits and themes, but also the broader narrative of nature, adventure, and the importance of conservation. Discovery Island may be closed, but its story endures, imprinted in the memories of those who once wandered its pathways and in the living legacy of Animal Kingdom. Thus, the park is not simply a footnote in the vast history of Disney, but a cherished chapter that reminds us of the joy of discovery and the significance of caring for our shared environment.